What's good, everyone, man? Welcome back to the channel. Now, we're kicking off season two, and as you can see, we are a first team all American. Six foot six, nearly 255, 260 range. You can see 54 tackles, 24 sacks, one force fumble, and three pass deflections. 24 sacks for a freshman. That is crazy. And these are the stats, man. And we just need to work on a little bit more of that strength, a little bit. I would not really care about awareness because I'm controlling them, but the Julius are good, but. Tackling, acceleration, and then jumping a little bit. Obviously, stamina injury. But other than that, man, this kid is a full out beast, man. <laughs> a straight beast, man. And more than likely, he's going to go his senior season. Because if you that good, man, <laughs> yo, it, it ain't no use. Of, it ain't no use to stand. You feel me? So when you when you that good, you just that good. And this is our schedule. We only got three opponents ranked on our schedule. First, I was number 17, Cincinnati. And yes, I do got the 2019-2020 roster. So, if it goes against Desmond Ritter in them, you know, Cincinnati Bearcats, man. And this is season two, number 22, Clemson. You know, all the T. Higgins and Justin Ross and Travis Etienne, Trevor Lawrence, they all gone to the NFL. So, we got number 22, Clemson on our schedule. As you can see, man, we, we are pretty dominant, man. We coming in ranked number 10 and number 19, Florida State. Yes, on here, they are ranked. Believe, believe it or not believe it or not man this is the top 25 oklahoma uh texas ohio state auburn nebraska as you can see they got the two-year probation on here so you know it, god knows what they've done nebraska at five miami at six big shout out to uncle sam reject um alabama virginia tech they got us at number 10 you got wisconsin you got lsu iowa tennessee Texas and you know, Tennessee is on a two year probation. <laughs> I mean, Oregon already lost to Kansas State. Bro, not a good way to start the season. Got Florida State at 19, you got 20, Washington, and you got West Virginia round out the top 25, man. But it ain't gonna keep y'all long. Let's get straight into this gameplay. All right, guys, man. First game of the season, we got the FCS opponent. Now, coming into this game, man, you already know that this is one of those games you just, you just, you know, want to get a feel for your new team and, you know, figure out what you need to prove on course. This is, this is not really a competition game. <laughs> it's more so of, you know, incoming freshmen, you know, upperclassmen. Just get a feel for overall your new team. And running back number seven, let's go. And as you can see, we switch from right end to left end. You feel me? So Wilson right there get his first big hit of the season. Now, we got a lot of guys coming back, so that's definitely a good thing for us, especially on defense. Like I say, offense, re re it was definitely a struggle last season where we was ranked bottom half of every offensive category. So hopefully we improve on that. Offensive coordinators, you know, um, need to, definitely need to improve. But first and 10 right here, and yo, let's go. This defensive front, it's McNeil get his first sack of the season, and... Yo, judging by the thumbnail y'all seen, this is Saxville, man, like for real. Yo, let's go, more with a pick six. I'm telling when you get pressure like that, the quarterback panics and more was just in the right place at the right time, man. And just like that, we up, up 14 to nothing. Like I say, this... I don't think nobody in the country can deal with this defensive line and just bringing no pressure like this. Like McNeil with his second sack of the game. I got a feeling he's going to have a monster game. <laughs> I just got that feeling, man. Second and 15, right? The reason we switch sides because a lot of the times you got running backs in the, in the tight ends over there, chip blocking. Most on the right side and the left side. So I think, you know what, let's, let's try to switch. And that's what you could do in the offseason. And that's one thing that I, I just love about the older NCAA games, man. And right here, we tried to run commit, and we did, but the fullback bounced to the outside for a pickup of two, second and eight. Like I said, hopefully we get more opportunities here on this left side than we did the right side, because obviously right side, we picked up 24 sacks. I mean, <laughs> as McNeil is having himself a game. They're on the three-yard line, third and nine. Let's see what they can come up with, man. Fullback diver. That's not going nowhere. It's more with his first tackle of the game, man. I got a pick six, a big hit. Yo, 
We are starting this game off right, especially on the defense side of the ball. 21 to nothing, hand off to, yo. And that's the crazy thing about it. I'm not telling them to hit like this. It's no, it's no adjustments that make them hit like this or make them wrap up. Yo, the CPU is tackling like this on their own. And you know your boy had to get in on the action, man. It wouldn't be Saxville without your boy MJ getting one, man. Come like, come on. Y'all thought he was gonna go this whole game without getting one? Like, come on, man. I mean, that's another thing I like about it, man. It, it's not just the MJ show. I even know this is a campy legend of featuring, you know, Melika Johnson. He's an unselfish player, man. He wants everybody to shine. And I'm going back here for the punt. And I actually didn't record it, but I actually, your boy MJ actually got a punt return touchdown, man. Like, for real. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Right here, we muffed it. Yo, we were trying to get too greedy, man. Because we put it the first time. Like I said, he, he actually got a punt return touchdown. 87-yard punt, punt return touchdown. We trying to win the highest, man. Two seconds left before halftime. Yo, the quarterback goes down again. McNeil. Three sacks. Arguably the player of the game so far. Second and 15 start of the second quarter. Yo, this quarterback is getting his ass whooped. Like, for real. <laughs> He's like, coach, come on, bro. I can't keep taking punishment like this. But third and a mile. Third and 23. Now, they're trying to screen pass, and it do not work out well for their favorites. McNeil. His fourth sack, man. Not even a full two quarters, and this kid already got four sacks. That is crazy. Pressure up the middle. <laughs> Yo, this is absolutely eight sacks, and it's not even halftime yet. But second and seven, like I said, it, it's pretty much expected, you know, going against a lower opponent like this. So it, it's pretty much expected, but I want to see. Yo. What a damn hit, and Wilson's right there for the fumble recovery. I want to see how, like, how they perform like this against, you know, a pretty much an even or a better opponent. I mean, because right now, it's pretty much expected to be this dominant against a team like this. So, we shall see as we get deeper and deeper into our schedule. And this quarterback has absolutely get the fumble like, yo, Yo, Moore is having himself a game. Two tackles, one pick six, a big hit. Yo, this is what expected for the nation's number one defense coming into the sophomore season. Second and 19 play action pass. It's just absolutely nowhere to throw the ball. I mean, absolutely nowhere. If I was the secondary, this is like, yo, defense line need to stop getting pressure. I'm pretty sure it's getting bored back there. As right now, we are just out here having fun. And finally, hopefully he's okay, man. But the quarterback goes down with a head injury, so definitely prayers up for him. Fourth and 32. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying to be greedy, man. I'm trying to win in the Heisman for a defense end. Man, we going to try. Yo, we going to try for it, man. Your boy got 90 speed. Come on, return that thing to the crib. Come on, man. Yo, let's go. If we end up scoring off that, man, as we're leading 35 to nothing. Now, another thing I noticed that you cannot put in your second team offense and defense. And right here, yo, you don't see the red jerseys over there. Like, come on. But you can't really, can't, especially in campus legend mode, road to glory session on here. You can't, yo, you dropping pick sixes? Hey, come on. But like I said, unfortunately, you can't really sub in the second team offense and defense. So your starters stay in the whole game. It don't matter if you you don't win in 56 to nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it, it just, as Wilson get his first sack of the season, and that, that's just something that's just unfortunate because, you know, a game like this, you, you want your, you know, backup to get that game time experience, especially freshmen. It's running back number seven. That's arguably the bright spot so far for them. <laughs> he goes for two. That's going to bring up a second and eight. Now, I am. I just want to sign though. I am working on the, you know, behind the scenes of another art, uh, campus legend. Um, I'm just, I'm just waiting for, I'm, I'm just waiting for, um, 
you know, another big time YouTuber to, you know, get, you know, it's pretty much finished. You know what I mean? So when I get things rolling on that, I will release it. So that series and this series, I, I definitely will focus on. And, you know, as far as the Madden 12, I thought, I thought it was, um, right here. We decided to muff it again. <laughs> Yo, okay, we just going to see that. Pump return touchdown, 87 yard pump return touchdown. But you know that that's the end of that, man. That's the end of trying to get another pump return touchdown. But first and goal inside the five on the three. Let's make a goal line stand right. Here. Get the fuck <laughs> like yo. It's Martin with a big hit. Second and goal. We cannot let these boys score, especially not no TD. Hand off up the middle, yo. I feel sorry for the opponents facing us this season, bro, because this defense line is bar none, the best in the nation. And right here, good pass deflection right there. Good defense, man. They end up getting three. You know what I mean? So that's definitely a goal line stand for us. First and 10. Now, one of my subscribers last video, I said NCAA 14 is not the best NCAA 14. And me personally, it's not. It is definitely not. I mean, it's good because, you know, Army is the last, as of right now, it's the last until they bring out the new one. It's the last of a kind, and it's updated with, you know, the rosters and the uniforms, and, you know what I mean? If they did that on a, a older NCAA, yo, like, come on. I know it's not possible, but if they could do that on P any PS2 NCAA, yo, <laughs> I'll be on that shit night and day, man. But like I say, for me personally, it's a it's a tie between 06, 07, and ECW 11 on a PS2 or the original Xbox. Those are arguably the best. The real ECW football players know. It's it's you can't go wrong. Look at 14 sacks a day team. That's crazy, man. But you can't go wrong with either choice. Me personally. I would probably go with, you know, either 7 or 11. But like I say, people like 6. You can't go wrong. It's, it's point blank here. You can't go wrong with either one of those. But 3 seconds left, 3rd and 15. Good pass by wide receiver. No one tuning. He gets drilled right there. It's like the secondary is like about time. We get some kind of, look at that, negative 110 yards, bro. That is fucking crazy. And what's the crazy thing is, I'm playing on Heisman on this. And this dude don't even have time. Look, McNeil setting records. I believe that's Elvis Doomerville in real life. So he broke his record, bro. It's just like, yo. And what's the crazy thing is, it's like the Golden Era NCAA on, on PS2 and original Xbox. It's like stats on here actually matters and good reception right there but wide receiver number three but he goes nowhere that's gonna bring up a third and five it's like stacks actually matter you know if you got a 99 overall you know receiver you know, like a 90 overall corner man yo throw a go route we gonna see who gonna win that one-on-one -on -one. it's just not no or, you know, you put on an offense and, you know, a defensive tackle running down and running back and he diving five or ten yards and trip you up. Nah, it ain't none of that on here. It is none of that on here. Like, if you faster than somebody, you faster than somebody. You stronger than somebody, you stronger than somebody. And right here, what it, yo, this defense is just outrageous, man. <laughs> it's just simply outrageous, man. As we going to end up winning this game big as expected, second and 16. Right here across the, oh, I don't know how he caught that, but good catch. Let's pick up of 11 right there. Third and five is arguably going to be the last play of the game. And right here, this quarterback is just taking ass with his bro. It's Martin with his third second of the game. Appreciate y'all, love y'all, and next time I'm gone.